I, I just laugh at hate now, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of crazy because now I, before, like, when people would hate, it would make me, like, like, wonder, like, yo, what did I do wrong? Now I just, you know, I laugh at those people that hate. You know, I want them to keep on hating, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they say you, you ain't you ain't popping if you ain't got haters or you ain't or whatever it is that, that slang saying goes. You know what I'm saying? So now I just laugh at them and I just look at them like yo, I'm a, I'm going to laugh with you. You know what I'm saying? Opposed to allowing you to get under my skin, dog. I'm going to have fun with you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to hate on me, dog. Let's 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 get into it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna I'm gonna show my enjoyment of them hating. So I I welcome the hate. Like cool, come on, bro. Because at the end of the day, you watching me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not watching you. And uh, yeah, and I'm gonna make fun of your ass every single time you come around and hate on me. That's a very mature answer, man. Hey, man, I, I didn't got mature, dog. Okay, <laughs> I didn't got smarter, dog. Okay, you done got you done got smarter. I didn't got wiser, dog. Okay, so you gonna um, yeah, I mean, I, I I looked at it as um, after a while, I just noticed that we both, even in separate parts of the world, because me and you are in two different parts of the world, but we both unified and just stop saying shit back. That's the, and, and I've learned that is the best way to do it. Just don't respond. Yeah. Cause that's what they want you to do, right? They want you to say their name and all this other stuff. And they want to, you know, get clout off of your name and stuff like that. And that's never going to stop. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. You know, if people want their videos to pop, what they do, they put me or TB's name in the title. That's how I pop. They could never make a title and not put our name in it. Their, their views would be like two, 300 views. But as soon as they put TV or low Sean Parks in their title, oh, they're going to get all kinds of views because it's the stigma of those that don't like us that, that want to see a person bash us for whatever reason. I mean, it, it's goofy at the end of the day when it's all said and done. Uh, and I just never understood a, a, a man hating on another man. Just, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. To me. It's, fem- it's, 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 it's feminine energy, but I will, I will have, I do have a good question here. Um, what, how has trucking changed in your words since when me and you were uh, out there? Oh, uh, trucking, you know, it's changed a lot. Uh, especially, I guess, as far as on, if you're talking about on YouTube wise, seems like everybody that gets into trucking just think that they're content creators and like everybody finds them interesting. So, you know, they've seen other people make content on YouTube about trucking and all of a sudden they think they can grab a camera and start making content. And I ain't going to hold you. Uh, 90% of the new YouTube content that comes out in trucking, that shit is whack. Uh, shit is dope. No hate. I'm just telling you what it is. Bang shots. Uh, Jeez. and it's regurgitating. You know what I'm saying? We've already pioneered all of that shit. Everything that somebody has done or is doing, we've already done that shit. Uh, so it's just regurgitation, regurgitation for the most part. Um, but as far as like trucking, just in the yeah, actual aspect, just driving the truck, the actual industry, <sighs> I mean, you know, I see a lot of people complaining about rates, you know what I'm saying, and talking about how there's no money in trucking. Uh, and it always brings me back to the guys such as myself, you, and the other truckers who's did, done it for 10-plus years. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about we used to see rates at $1.30 a mile, $1.25 a mile, $1.40 a mile, $1.50 a mile. Uh, if we was able to see $2 a mile a load, we thought we was fucking balling. What you fucking talking about? Well, it's like, and we were able to make money doing that shit. Yeah. So now it's kind of like you see the new generation come out here and these cats won't start their truck up and move it for less than $3 a mile. And they, and then if it ain't $3 a mile, they're talking about they're not making no money. And I get it, inflation, right? I understand inflation, inflation, fuel prices is going up, cost of living is going up and all that. But you still can make good money out here. You know, as a truck driver, still making $2,000 a week, take home, whatever it is. Uh, that's more than what you're going to make at the crib. I'm telling you that shit right now. Hey, you're making, you're still yeah, way, making way more money than the people back home. Yeah. I, we were saying that back then, man. And they used to say, nah, man, I'm local. I make $20 a week. We were like, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't, bro. No, you don't. <laughs> and then I went local for a couple of years just as an experiment. And I'm here to say we was right about that shit all along. Ain't no money at the crib, bro. Unless you're doing like one job and that's like fuel hauling. And even right. if you do that, you're perpetually at night. I don't have time for that shit. True. And here's the truth about it, right? A lot of guys think that they're going to come off the road and go local and it's going to be the same lifestyle as it was OTR. Listen, o- o- OTR drivers, one thing for sure, two things for certain. If you just haul in like a drive-in reefer, 
yo, you 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 used to not touching no freight, bro. All right, you used to not doing no dropping hooks and getting out of the truck and dropping the landing gear all the freaking time and, and hooking back up, hooking right. and going, hooking and going. Unless you're flatbed, right? Of course, flatbed, you know, you got to get out and you got to touch the, the commodity. But the reality that a lot of people don't understand is when you go local, bro, you know, <laughs> oh, you're going to do a lot of work, okay? You're going to, you're going to, they getting every coin about you. Dropping trailers, picking up trailers. Dock work. Uh, clock work. Dog, what? Dock work? Dock all work. Of that stuff. A lot of people try to make the transition from OTR to local and it does not fit their lifestyle. They will know, they'll notice immediately within a couple of months of doing it, yo, local ain't for me, right? Local's for those guys who may have been over the road for like six months, a year, or they went to a local driving school and they got a local job. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Being with Pepsi Cola, doing the beer runs, private school doing cats. fuel hauling, private school cash. <laughs> but, and no shots to them, but if you've been OTR for a long period of time and you try to go You're back done. home and do local, bro, it, it ain't you're gonna find out really, really quickly. It ain't for you. OTR has ruined every every aspect of dealing with people on a close hand basis. Um I have a few uh step deck situations that's been courting me. And it's like, man, but I know it's gonna be thirty days out at a time. So on one hand I kinda I kinda miss that aspect of trucking, being out mm-hmm. for thirty days, being lost in the sauce. But it's mm-hmm. like, yo, my crib very comfortable and cushy right now. So it's like, <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I got a little, like, I got an ice maker. Like, I'm a street nigga. That, that, that's a big thing to me. I don't know why. I, that's that's impressive, yeah, ice maker. I've never had an ice maker on the refrigerator before, ever in my life. I've never had something like that. So it was like, now I got my own stuff. You know, I got two webs paid off, title holder, you know what I'm saying? Um, okay. I got, I got, I got two big screen TVs and a person said, man, that ain't shit. But from where I come from, I'm killing it right now. I'm like, I'm, I'm winning. I'm doing pretty well. And it's like, I kind of don't want to mm-hmm. leave my stuff to go back on the road where I would kind of enjoy my job better. But I used to talk, tell people about that. I said, if you get too nice of a crib, you're not going to want to be OTR. Mm-hmm. That's what ends up happening. If you get too nice, if you get too many nice things, you're going to want to be near your things. And that may mean yep. something different for you than it does for me. It may be the cars you own. It may be, you know what I'm saying? It may be the biddies you got. Who knows? So it's mm-hmm. like one of them things is like, I know I'm eventually going to have to go back on the road because I don't like the politics of local driving. Mm-hmm. These people, I hate to come out here and say it. And I'm not going to say the people that I'm driving with, but the office people are incompetent. They don't know what they're talking That's about. That's very true. They don't understand hours because usually you go home on a weekend. They don't have to deal with hours. They don't mm-hmm. understand hours. They don't understand. They'll switch your sleep schedule just because they want to. Oh, oh you, you was there last night? Right, well, you start 6 o'clock in the morning. You can't do that, bro. That's legal. You can't. I can't do that. You know, I, that part is annoying. And I kind of just want to be. And I'm talking to people too much. OTR, I don't got to talk to you. All right. You giving me the load, as long as the computer says I'm on track, I'm chilling. Here, they'll just call you, what do you think about trying this route out? And what do you think? They just, every day I'm talking to somebody, I'm like, dude, you don't got to call me for that. Yeah. You was always better at talking at the brokers because I refuse to jigaboo. I'm not, I can't do that. I don't know how to tap so these. I, I, I don't know I how to do that. I got a jigaboo to talk to the brokers, this fucking guy here. I can't do it, bro. <laughs> I never was good at it. So when I'm home, I'm realizing I'm ta- I was like talking to brokers every day. They're calling me about nothing. Then I was told, Hey man, every time you get a load, you got to call in and talk to me every time you get a, that's a new thing. We got to do a call in dispatch. Why? It's annoying. I can't handle it, bro. I was like, bro, just send me, th- I'm going to say something that's going to hit weird. I miss the Springfield regime i said it. are you fucking kidding me bro no nah, nah. yo you might have clipped this dog that that ain't that ain't real i, that, hate that. I swear yo, to god bring, bring tv back we bro. want the real tv back i swear to god you rob low you're gonna the, you, you're gonna sit here and tell me that you don't sometimes sit back with one glory tear in your eye and think man i missed the load showing up and just going i missed that I mean, yeah, I think about it all the time. I shit, 
Hell, I missed the I missed the money aspect from training, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> I missed you the train money again? aspect from training. Huh? Will will here's a question. Will Prime take you back? Yeah, they offered me a job. They said I was unhirable. Uh life is rough for you, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. Why am I unhirable? <laughs> I've never crashed nothing. I'll tell you why. Why? Because you ain't light skinned. <laughs> Come on, you gotta be light skinned to get the win. All right, light skinned for the win. All right, that's that's period. All right, I, I keep trying to tell y'all this. Yo, y'all don't want to listen. I have a cleaner record than you, Lo. How am I not you hireable? Do. You actually do. You know what it's it is? Pretty sad. This tells me that they watch this, and my mouth done got me in some shit. They don't watch one of my videos, and it's over for me. What? Well, you like you like the smoke, right? You told you told him you want all the smoke. You told Robert Lowe to kiss your ass on the way out the door. You remember that time? I ain't never told Robert Lowe to kiss my ass ever in my life. Oh, you don't want to tell the people that one? Huh? Ever in you my life, I ain't never seen it. You told him to kiss your ass and kick rocks, and I'm the big beezy. I remember the whole conversation. No, I'm just no. Sitting there like, bro, what happened? Bro? No, I've never, I've never in my life told Robert Lowe <laughs> to kiss my ass. I have never in my life said that. What I said, what I said was, I pointed out shit that wasn't right. Here's the truth: if you're, when people tell you, "Oh, be real," that's the worst thing you can possibly be. So should you be fake? Yes, absolutely. Oh yeah. If 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 my child was here now and he was asking me career advice, I would tell him to be the fakest person on the planet. Absolutely, mm. I would tell him, Josh, not Josh Vlogs, um. I don't even have no one to connect it to. I would tell him to be 2014 Sinister. Oh, shout out to Sin, but Sin Square from Delaware, dog. Now, okay, listen, 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 listen. That's my man, though. I'm shout not, a, I'm Sin, not man, hating because I like Sinister. What I'm saying is yeah. Sinister isn't fake. Sinister did what he needed to do to be a, for him to be appeased by the regime. At the time... I considered it, oh, man, he being, the truth was he was doing the correct career move. You don't see no lawyers out here doing lives talking about their company. He was mm. doing exactly what he was supposed to do. And me coming out, I'm going to be real. That was not the right move, bro. I can honestly say that I was wrong to do that. I was wrong. So you feel like being honest with the people cost you immensely in trucking? Dude, you don't even understand. If a if a if a if a if a if a company has more than a hundred trucks, I'm unhirable. Companies any any doesn't matter because you know they go to conventions. Okay, they, they have passed my name around. I'm flat out. I have to go to fringe companies. I have to go to specialized mm. companies. Weird little, you know. I can't do anything that's really corporate. Anything that's corporate, they know my name. I've changed my number twice. Doesn't matter. They know something about my DAC and my name. Once it pops up, the computer says, don't hire this person. And well, I, you know, Google search is a bitch. Truck, no, Sean Brown. You <laughs> pop up all over the place, boy. This nigga, wow. <laughs> so my thing is this is crazy. So I'll ask them, you know, what's on my DAC? Well, nothing. Okay, well, what's on my, uh, what's on my NVR? Nothing. So you're telling me there is no mathematic reason or corporate reason not to hire me no they'll just tell me no but we can't hire you so i've been a fish i'm the first trucker to officially be blacklisted oh my gosh he didn't put it out there folks that's it. oh you know all kind of videos is gonna come that's it bro they don't they don't blacklist <laughs> me bro you know the only companies that don't care is small, uh oh who are you gonna say it's small step deck companies Cause they just need to work done okay. and farms. They don't get what happened to the situation. What happened to the situation in, in, uh, uh, for, uh, what's it called in Texas. Uh, I know I, and I found out the spot you was talking about. Yeah. You told me Start about with an L. What happened to that spot? Yeah. I yeah. don't want to give them too much information, but we don't need nobody going over there in case you go over there and they, I, they want to come over there. You just, I think you just underestimate how far away I live. I couldn't do it. I was outside of their range. I live far away, bro. 
Yeah, and you still don't even let me know that stuff. So yeah, you just keep it over there in Africa. Bro, Nobody okay? knows. That's why you can't get no job. Okay, <laughs> I, I that. that's why you can't get no job. Look, you just told us. I you gotta go to. Yo, you can't get no job. You over there I'll in Africa, saying, bro. bro. No, no, nobody knows where I live, bro. I I could work for Carlisle. Put it that way. Oh no! Yeah, you up there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could work and, for Carlisle. Hey, is it too many of? Uh, <laughs> there's a couple there's, of. There's actually yeah, they are here, and they get paid. Really? If you're this. You get paid three thousand dollars a month for being this. Word. Yeah. Oh, so what you mean? That's you then. You make. You should be making all the money. Nah, I didn't. I didn't take it. Ah. It, it feel like welfare to me. I don't like shit like that. I don't like. I come from welfare. I don't want to be on welfare because we gotta remember when you do that, you have to. This is some real shit. When you do shit like that, you have to start saying that when you go to jobs that you took that shit. What that welfare? Yeah, yeah. Your co- co- yeah, yeah, applications yeah, yeah, yeah. ask, have you took any assistance from the government? Yeah. Nah, you can't put that on me. I know that's a nah. I'm good on that. You know what I'm saying? You know, I move and groove a little bit different that way, so they can't really. You know what I'm saying? They can't clock me, but I, I know. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This what guy, I'm, yo, this guy. What I'm saying is, I, I agree with the things that we did back then to some extent, but I believe if I could go back in time and talk to us, I would tell us. Um, Oh, uh, don't tell them everything. Don't or, 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 or the real shit, put it behind a paywall. Okay. That way you can, re- if you put it behind a paywall, there's a higher chance of you returning your, your, uh, your, your corporate hireability. See, see that term was never a thing to me. Corporate hireability. I never thought of something like that, which truly mm. We should have we should have been thinking of because when we look at stars we say oh they don't touch on they don't ever talk about black issues well they weren't about being corporately hireable they weren't about being marketable we was just wrong mm-hmm. with it we was just holding it out there so, hey, yeah you know this DM ain't S and that he a BS and that and it and it really changed now you have an extra layer of protection because of your complexion but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I personally can't do that. <laughs> it's the yeah, truth. I mean, you sitting in a brand ago. new Peterbilt right now. I I, I am. How, how'd you know? It says Peterbilt on the back by the back light. Oh, oh, you know it's all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Five five seventy nine. You know what I'm saying? Sitting real comfortable. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> it look like a prime drug. You're a prime. Relax. It, it, no, I'm not at prime. It's not no damn prime <laughs> truck. Okay. I'm, I mean, I'm I'm with a nice a hazmat carry that's taking good care of me okay um i mean the truck got everything you want you know what i'm saying i blow the doors off you can see me coming down the highway straight like that you <laughs> teaming no oh, what so. i know you ain't over there okay that makes sense uh, yeah i ain't over there with uh uh what, what what's my man name where you're going uh not just phil but uh come on who you talking about i don't know you hmm Man, you acting, you acting crazy. This dude acting who, crazy. Who are you talking? No, nah, I'm not over there. I'm not over there with Gold Fiend. I, oh, I ain't okay. over there with the Gold Fiend. I ain't over there with the Gold Fiend. But I, I mean, I know where yet, but I ain't over there. Listen, they wouldn't even accept me. All right, you got it. <laughs> I ain't got it. Look, my background ain't good at two shoe. Okay, when you go over there with Gold Fiend, that shit got yeah, squeaky. The, dog. The, my the, shit truth, squeaky. the truth is, if you have worked at more than three jobs, it's worse than being in an accident now. This is true, but we, I was preached about that years ago when people told me that I was crazy. So it's, you still find companies that say, no, nah, you've been to too many jobs. Uh, so, matter of fact, speaking of, yeah, there was, I think there was a company that turned me down because of that, uh, which was a fuel hauling company, local. Uh, I tried to get on with uh, Sheets. I tried to get on with Sheets. And they told me that that they didn't tell me because of jobs. They just basically told me I didn't have enough experience, which didn't make any sense to me yeah. because you know, I got 11 years of driving. What the fuck are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? And I have four yeah. years of dealing with hazmat. So that didn't make any sense to me. It had to be job history. Yeah. They, they're basically saying it. they have, you say you have 12 years. That doesn't matter to them. They say in the past two years. So then they shorten yeah. your experience to the past two years. So if you took a couple of months off in between jobs, it will add up to not enough experience. So basically yeah. they're doing that to say you can't job hop. Correct. So now our 10 years of experience before the two, they've just been able to get rid of it. It doesn't mean anything. Matter of fact, when you say mm-hmm. 12 years, 
it hurts you. You shouldn't even say that to a company, bro. Like, it hurts you. Because now they feel like you're unteachable. You're going to come with a bunch of problems. For sure. So it's like, nah, man, what, what, what have you done in the past two years? It's like, bro, I got 12 years, bro. 12 years? Nah, yeah. nah, nah. It's like, it's, I feel like that's wrong that they could take that from us. I do feel like it's wrong for them to take that from us, but I will say this too, TV, right? There has been veteran drivers who have made some of us veteran drivers look like where we not where we shouldn't get paid for the experience that we have. All right. right. I e I hired when I had my fleet, I hired a driver who had 14 years of experience, right? And I had drivers that had less experience than him. And he crashed the truck. He he super glued the damn GPS to the dash, uh, tore up the truck, did a bunch of uh, how can I say this? Rookie mistakes. Things that I would expect from like a rookie, a guy who has like one to two years. And this guy had 14, 16 years of experience and was absolutely a, a nightmare to me. You know what I'm saying? So All right. so you saying there's it's um their their uh strategy is sound. Well, once again, it's like you said, you can't teach old dog new tricks. And I think a lot of these companies feel like whenever you bring in somebody with experience you know, they're old dogs and you can't teach them new tricks. So even if you try to say, I'm going to put you in like a week of training and this is the way we do it. But if there's a certain way that that driver has been doing it for 12 years, bro, your one ye- one week of training ain't going to change him from the way that he do his setup, the way he hook up to a trailer, the way that he runs his clock. That's just, he's, he's set in his ways. You know what I mean? So they don't really want those type of people. They want guys that they can pretty much put a finger on and say, Hey, I need you to fix this. And it needs to be this type of way. I mean, I guess it's warranted. You know, I've been to companies and been around a bunch of 20 year drivers and they're the most childish sons of bitches you ever run into in your life. This is true. They're fighting over what truck to drive. I want a manual. I want the square front. And I want, you know, they, you know, (laughs) you fighting over all that type of stuff. And then when we get to the back and they say, all right, give me a business account. They give them an account. They be like, "This is not a business account. Give me the business mm. account that matches your uh business." They don't have none of their paperwork together. It's like mm. Jesus Christ, man. But at the same time, I don't know. I, I just have a different outlook on driving trucks, man. I, I, to this point, I, I feel like it's it's um it's only a career if you pick a career company. Mm-hmm. You're at Gemini Trucking is a career. Correct. If you're at Shouts to Dirty Broke. If you're at yeah, shout to Dirty Broke. If you're at UPS, Old Dominion, EBS, yellow type jobs, it's a career. hmm If you're um if you're at a Chicago Eastern European company, it's not a career, it's a hustle. This is a fact. If you're at some small company that lets you play with your play with your clock and do weird stuff, it's a hustle. Mm-hmm. If you're 1099 and you don't have an actual business plan and you're just doing it because you're used to being 1099, it's a hustle. Because mm-hmm. the whole 1099, but you're still company. I tell people all the time, if you're 1099, you're not company. <laughs> you're not company. Right and they'd be like, no, I'm company. No, you're not, bro. Because <laughs> if, you, if you are a company, what means you are, according to the tax code, you are a, um, you are an employee. Correct. As an employee, you have rights to certain things. They should be paying into your taxes. They're not doing none of that. Right. You are a subcontractor. They just don't like the attitude that comes with you thinking you own your own business. So they start calling you company. Mm -hmm. But you're not company. When it comes down and you kill a family, they're going to say, he don't work for us. (laughs) That's true. He works works for Dirty Low Incorporated. That's who he works for. He don't work for us. (laughs) (laughs) that's true that's the truth so i mean my thing is now i i you know what if i could go back and start it all over i would run mail why the best thing on the market mail right now 38 dollars an hour nighttime trailers no more than four thousand pounds the work, mm-hmm. the work 
by federal law can never stop. And I would it's just, true. I, I would be, I would have been able to be local. I've been able to be home. I mean, look at, look at, the, you're talking about, you're talking about, dude, you're getting four, you're getting 60 hours a week at $40 an hour plus the overtime. Mm-hmm. I'll run mail. If you think about it, all the companies we like the most is mail. Old Dominion, uh, 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 UPS, FedEx, that's mail, bro. Mm-hmm. I'd have came in and just ran mail and just stuck to it. I've been able to have a home life. I've been able to, when I think about the overall, when it comes down to it, I've been able to control my health better. You know, I'd have been able to have weekends. I'd have been able to do a lot more. Which, uh, from my analyzation of the of the game, out of ran mail. You don't need a uh, endorsement. If you're with oh, UPS, you do, but you don't need an endorsement for right. that. And I'd have tried to get in at um. I'd have tried to get in at um the actual post office semi truck. Okay. Pension. I'm a I'm a fucking federal agent. I'd have got my mail. I didn't even know there was a mail card, but there is. I'd have got my mail credential, background check, and where I would have carried the the mail card, so and so, to get into the mail buildings. Okay, I was about to say, what the hell is a mail I, card? I didn't know All what right. that was either, but you know, I've been on the low. I thought I do different stuff now, so it's like I've, I've been I've been dealing with some yeah. stuff, and I'm learning. She's like, you got your mail card? <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is a mail card? I'd have did that. And I'd have, uh, I'd have did that from jump. And I'm thinking, I'm sitting back thinking now, I'm like, I had 12 years. I'd have had 12 years of a consistent $90,000 a year home every weekend for 12 years flat. Can count on the check like clock war, clock, clock work. I mean, so that's, that's, that's always the, you know, in hindsight, 2020. I wish I would have took the UPS. Yeah, 2020. Though. I wish I would have took the UPS job that was offered to me, be a truck driver for him, what, three, four years ago. And, and I didn't take it because I was still dealing with OTR stuff. And I was like, it ain't it ain't paying like OTR, dog. Dude, I should have took that shit. Cause, cause, <laughs> the, the dirty broke tells us that you can't beat the consistency. Correct. Yeah, that's one thing where he's always going to get you because those three weeks when shit just went bad for you, just check it and pop, pop, pop. So if he getting $2,300 mm-hmm. $2, a week and you saying I can do four, them three weeks you didn't get paid, he got two, four, six. He got eight, nine thousand dollars And he mm-hmm. always going to get it. Yeah. And and I messed up UPS when I was 18. I could have been there when I was 18, bro. I was hired. I would work there. My stepfather walked me in. Got me the job. But mm. I was too busy on drugs, bro. I was smoking weed, fingering bitches. Okay. I was doing a bunch of shit. <laughs> and I didn't show up for work. And they put a jacket on me and said I'm unhirable. I tried to I tried to go back to him 22 years later, and that same thing showed up. You're unhirable. You Are you serious? Yeah. And they never, it's forever. It's Damn. forever. It's forever, bro. Damn. It never goes away. It never goes away, that, bro. That sucks. That sucks. Unhirable forever from UPS. Yeah, forever. And that shit happened. That shit happened in old freaking one, no two or some shit. And I don't know what you did with yours. Hopefully, you didn't play around with the application and like not show up to something because they could have put that jacket on you unless you just said no, thank you. Nah, I just said basically I went to like the second orientation for it because I got hired for the position, and then I just was like, nah. I don't want to do the whole seniority thing and I get put on any, any kind of route, but I was young and dumb, man. Shit was stupid. Yeah. You unhirable forever. Oh, I am. Oh yeah. You're unhirable for Dude, if they send you an email <laughs> and you don't respond to it, you're unhirable forever. <laughs> oh, now man. see, on the other hand, this is why I don't fuck with them. Cause that's the, you can hit a landmine at any time mm-hmm. and they're heavenly governed cameras all over the place like there, there's a lot of government yeah. so it's like i knew it won't for me anyway but when i look at you know any cats getting 140 right right why you ain't got the brown outfit on yeah. <laughs> right because i damn sure would take the brown outfit now i'll tell you that <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yo, you can put me in a route outfit, dog. I, 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 they would call me right now. Hey, we got a job for you. I would immediately take this truck back to carrier and be like, yo. Do you mom. do you wish you took some of the uh in the past five years? You wish you took some of them guru classes. What? You know them them <laughs> them, them, them trucking. Is this a joke? Tell you how to get in the trucking classes or how to do dispatching <laughs> classes. Hell, yeah, you gotta be kidding me, right? Is it a joke, bro? Like, no. What's your view? What on, what's your, tell me what your view is on. Bring it down. What's your view on them? On the guru truckers. The ones that was charging like what ten grand for for you to have a class with me and and I tell you all the brokers I got and where to get trucks and all this and trailers and all the that. The big contracts. Yeah, the military contracts. Uh, I think that I think they scam people. I think they scam the shit out of people. I think they scam the shit out of people um, during a vulnerable time. That's what makes them so them so shitty and so trashy is because they did it during COVID. Right when everybody was was down on their luck, everybody felt like, you know, what I'm saying they know what's going to happen. Government sitting here handing out money left and right for PPP loans and all this other stuff. And people had, you know, that government money, and those people took advantage of it. And said, "Man, listen, government handing out so much money, people are 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 losing their jobs left and right due to COVID." But guess what? Trucking still got to go. So let's go ahead and, and and fixate and make a bunch of BS. In these classes, sessions, and all this, and give me ten thousand dollars. There was one, I forgot what her name was. Um, and I don't want to say no names because I don't want to hurt no family. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna just go ahead, and, I'm gonna Compass go ahead and circle. sit back in my chair and just say, you know what I'm saying? There was, you know, a whole bunch of these, uh, what was it, turnkey in a box, truck in a box situations <laughs> where you know, you give me <laughs> this, I put the driver in the truck, and I dispatch a truck, and I get. You. <laughs> bro, you just didn't have the money to put down to get that business, bro. You you hating? I I'll tell you the part I'm hating though. I wish I would have came up with it. What the fuck <laughs> are we talking about? Yo, bro, <laughs> cause, cause she, look, cause cats was spending crazy money. If she people, if, bro, and the truth is, she was selling people that weren't truckers so they could get the trucker money without becoming a trucker. That's yeah. basically who she shoot. So the IT dude that that made big money. He can give her twenty five thousand dollars for two trucks and just and expect a return back without ever getting the CDLs, without ever dealing with the with the BS, just instant return money. And just if she sold this to five thousand people, how much is five thousand times ten thousand? Bruh, she they said know. she she said she made what a hundred million, a hundred million, dog. Maybe she made it, bro. Man, now nah, ain't nobody backing her up, man. Maybe she made that shit. I ain't hating at her, dog. The only thing I'm hating about is, yeah. damn, why didn't I think of something? At least I could have put something together and the shit would have lasted, <laughs> though. At least, you know what I'm saying? My shit would... <laughs> God. Yeah, she, yeah, that's crazy, crazy, bro. Hey, man. I don't... I mean, the rise of the... the boss chick black girl dispatcher class is crazy. It's crazy, And the, bro. the crazy thing is, yeah, look, you try to get me to get messy on here, dog. I ain't I'm, I'm, trying just saying, to, right? I'm trying to avoid this whole thing, dog. But there were people that had popular, that were that held popularity, that endorsed this shit when it first started up, of course, right? Mm -hmm. But then once they started realizing, like, oh, shit, this is a scam, they kind of backed out of it and, and started putting it, putting it out there that, the, that, that these that? individuals were... Huh? I ain't see that. Who who's that? Hey, don't worry, you ain't see it. I ain't see that. <laughs> what that name is? You see what I'm saying? Be listen, real. Listen, listen. It's audio out there on all that shit. All you gotta do <laughs> is YouTube that shit, dog. Hey, listen, it's public record. I ain't got nothing to do with oh, it. I, I, as you would say, I was at a barbecue. <laughs> I was at a barbecue. <laughs> I wasn't there. Listen, we backed out by then. We was already on the back burner. <laughs> Remember, they were saying we fell off during that era. So, hey, man, y'all right. won. Right. That's crazy. And the funny thing is, they said we were scammed for charging twenty dollars. Right. In oh my God! Don't talk about scam, dog. They called me scam <laughs> for putting together that thing for the trucks. Twenty dollars. Scam. Man, God. You, they called God. you a scam. 
called me a scam for Patreon and went and gave somebody twenty five thousand dollars. Correct. Insane man. Hell, you gave me twenty five thousand. I could have went and put ten. I would have got the two trucks and put you on a contract with T Force. <laughs> I mean, what are we doing? No. I would have told you, yo, listen, just give me 10%. You know what I'm saying? For fighting this feed, though. What are we talking about, dog? It's crazy the tr- out here. Man. The truth is, I digress. When, when you boil it down, people just didn't like us, bro. It was just That's it. that simple. That's it. They just didn't That's like it. us. And the truth is, we didn't offer no dispatch course and then tell them about any military freight. No. So we were, we were scam artists. Think about I, it. People were so interested in debunking everything we were saying. Oh, actually, that's not true. You shouldn't use that type of fold on the tarp. They, they were interested. <laughs> right. That's not how you, that's not a DOT fold in the scrap. Really, you're not supposed to do. They just, anything we do, they did, they just debunk it. No, 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 no. But then they come over yeah. here and they just lay down. Here go my 25,000. Like, what? Mm hmm. That's crazy. Well, because our side, our society is built off of get rich quick schemes, bro. Everybody want to get rich. Everybody, you know, want to want to be living, you know, the good life. And if somebody tell you, oh, I got something where you know you give me twenty five thousand in, in three months, I could turn you twenty five thousand to hundred thousand. It's bullshit. Over. They don't want to do no investigation. They don't want to listen. You know, do any further research. You've been on podcasts. He go, he go. Thing. I ain't never been interviewed. Oh really? No, no. Let, let's let's no let, let's let's sit back and think of this. What you in the Prime Magazine? I thought they had you in the Prime. Magazine. You know I ain't like skin enough being in the Prime Magazine. Don't do that. Don't do that. They put the the brown paper bag up to your skin and said he's in. Let him in. He has blue veins. <laughs> <laughs> he's our uh, D Rod. He's one of the good ones. But anyway, oh, he's one of the good ones. <laughs> So <laughs> um no um i've never been interviewed i've been interviewed by aj that one time when they came and seen us rolling the truck to the joint and i yeah. think i've been i've did that uber type of interview but really it was like questions that meant nothing right but you included in a few other people y'all done been the podcast sat down had conversations wow <laughs> and the funny thing about this shit but i'm gonna say it because i got you on here I sat, I sat back and watched you podcast, Nichols. I watched you interview every nigga I had a part in growing. But me. It's like you just watched the channel and said, him, her, him. What the fuck? <laughs> now, in my younger years, I could be mad that none of these niggas I did media with said my name on their pop class, pop class. But I done grown. I ain't hating. Don't have no resentment, dog. Relax. I have no resentment. That's how I'm doing it. But I know if I'd have did it the low, oh, he'd have said, "Yo, so here you go." This nigga have been in the comments like, "Oh, you just gonna go in there and sleep?" If I went to the <laughs> Breakfast Club and didn't say Lotion Parks, he'd have put a hit on me. Yo, this dude right here, bro. See, this is why we talking about, about the brown skin cats, bro. Brown skin cats ain't never satisfied. You know what I'm saying? No, Sean. They ain't never satisfied. If I went on 85 South Show and they asked me about the TB show back in the day and I didn't say TB and Low and Low Sean, you saying you wouldn't have said something? I, I don't have a problem. Okay, because <laughs> now you're talking about the TB and Low Show. I got something to do with that. Facts. But, right. but a lot of y'all that used to be around me went on different channels. I didn't hear TB, I didn't hear Trucker Brown. Why you is that? Call him out, bro. You know what I mean, you you being messy. So I mean, you want to call him out? No, my brother. No, my brother. This isn't messy. This is just a direct <laughs> question. Got it. Right. Then when it's you got it. to that platform, did they say, "Don't say Trucker Brown"? Mm. I've always wondered. Did they say, "Don't say Trucker Brown"? <laughs> I wait on it. The truth is they never say that, though. It's just that people, when they're caught up in their limelight, they don't acknowledge those that help get them there. And they really should. You know, you really should. I always give, always give my praises to you um, for, for helping me, you know, get my foot off the ground. Uh, you were the only, this is a true fact that I told, and I spoke about this before, you were the only YouTuber in the trucking space that was willing to work with me when I first came on. I reached out to everybody. Everybody remember Montana Leon. 
I reached out to her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No I shots going bank. Really but you know what I'm saying? Years, bro. You know what she told me? She says, uh, bigger YouTubers don't work with you, little YouTubers. <laughs> Fair enough. You know what I'm saying? Let me back, let me back out of the way. You, know, you, the, know, you know the crazy thing about that? She's completely it's right. It's true. She's right. Right. Now, listen, I'm not, I'm not, in this age, I'm not angry because I could have named the podcast as, <laughs> I could have been ignorant. <laughs> I was hoping I was going to draw hey, you there, hey, hey, I ain't going to do it. I ain't because my <laughs> thing is, it's more than one. I'm not, I could have named the podcasts. I could have named the people who think sitting on a, sitting on stream yard for eight hours is a show. I could have named Uh-oh. that stuff. But what I will say is this. I'll, I'll say, I'll, I'll, I'll say this because I've learned that in time it's all right because I know what I have is it's different. It's special. Because I'm the only one that's still keeping it together. Mm-hmm. What I will say is this. Where do those people go once they leave, leave TV? You said where do they go where once do they, they go? leave TV? Because I know y'all thought that TikTok shit was dope. But I told you that oh, shit don't no. make no money. Yo, come on, man. It's cat. Peace to the God. <laughs> I told you that shit didn't make no money. Then I said years ago, that don't make no money. A million hit video on YouTube is twenty thousand dollars. I know because I've done it four times. A million hit video on TikTok is four hundred ninety dollars. What? Yes, yes. Okay. So when I tell you that shit don't make no money. Nah, you just hating because they got this many subscribers and fo- followers mean nothing. They mean nothing, bro. TikTok ain't paying you no 20 grand for a million views, bro. You can stop it. When we went and seen Gus, the goose, and uh, we went to uh, uh, the truck show, the first time I we went to the truck show down there in Kentucky, I made $43,000 off that visit. $43,000. That's before Cash App. That's before anything. That's just from the video. The video was so hot. I reposted it and it went reviral. And I made 25 grand off of that. TikTok. I got four videos that got over <laughs> a million. And I ain't never got a check. Ever. What? They've never paid me. Ever. Never paid me, bro. Didn't call me, slap me on the cheeks, nothing. That's wild. <laughs> so when you see your favorite rapper or your favorite creator or trucking creator on YouTube, getting, they're not making no money, bro. That's why they start selling shit like a prostitute. That's when they start, oh, man, buy these shoes. Oh, man, get this. Oh, man, get that. They'll start over-sponsoring because they ain't making shit. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I guess I'm wrong, man. I'll be quiet. Jeez, oh, Joseph. I'll be quiet. I knew I was going to get out of you, dog. Okay? I just wanted... I just, yeah, I just, I'll just. i be quiet. Because TB don't know what he doing. All right. All right, cool. I'll be quiet. I, I set up low back in the day, back in the rebirth. Low, I don't care what you say. I ain't seen Lowe's back office. Low gets paid from Ooh. YouTube to this day. Oh, I do. Yes, I do. Low get paid from YouTube to this day. Yep. <sighs> y'all want y'all won't get on TikTok. <laughs> Jigabooing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure. <laughs> Low started up. Low started to beat today. I'm I'm done. I'm out. I ain't gonna do it no more. I'm sorry. Hey, listen, bro. Right, yo. Can't come up here if you ain't ready to push some buttons. You know. <laughs> If anybody's offended, if anybody's offended by this video, you're more than welcome to come on and do the interview with me. I am dropping all <laughs> inhibitions. I will interview anybody now. Anybody from the past, anybody we've disagreed with, anybody can come on here and sit down with me. They can tell me their grievances. They can tell me why they don't like me. They can tell me what happened back then. I'll let them get their space to say whatever they need to say. 
No more, oh, we were just clicks, so we don't talk to you. I ain't doing that. First of all, there's no more clicks, there's no more groups. This is the truth. You can come on here and sit with TB and say, you know what, TB, I don't like you because of this. <laughs> you think someone gonna take the deal? Yeah, I almost want to start the TV and Low Show back up again, and mm-hmm. they can just come up and we could just have these conversations. We just have it out, young cat. You know what I'm saying? People who never liked us, who don't like me, who don't like TV. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like me, you come up. TV can be the mediator, and you don't like TV, you come up. I be the mediator. You know what I'm saying? Let's. Just- <laughs> I'm already set up. I'm telling you right now, me and you can have a. You want a day? What day you want to do the TV and Low Show? Because you OTR now, so I don't know what your schedule looking like. But obviously, we can do it because you're doing it now. Yeah, all you got to do is just, I mean, shit. I handle all the heavy lifting. No. All you got to do is show up on the phone. Yeah, I just show up. I, um, shit, yo, I think, like, prime time is, is good timing. I mean, you, we, I think we just need to figure out, like, in the algorithm, when's the best time for viewership. What do we, what we used to do when we did TV and Low Show? We used to be at, like, the afternoon, right? Evening. Yeah, yeah. But we got to figure out what is your schedule looking like to be able to show up. You know, my shit is all over the place. But look, if we do like an hour show, dog, I can always dedicate it to stopping the truck for an hour and, you know, just taking a break for an hour. You know what I'm saying? I can't do more than that. But, you know, I could dedicate an hour. So the filming will be different from when we drop it. We'll find a day to drop it, a time to drop it. But we're going to get the filming out at any time of the week. We'll just figure out how to. Yeah, I could do it. Yeah, I could do an hour. You just let me know, like, all right, low, we're doing it at filming today at two, you know what I'm saying? Or at three, I could stop, do an hour of filming. All right. TB and Low Show. Already got the truck report with uh with Phil. But I don't know his new job may make that kind of hard. Uh I gotta sit down with SoCal. That's coming. Bang. I know SoCal got I some SoCal keeping it. I hope SoCal tell everything that he feels, dog. Don't be holding shit back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the whole thing of this right here, dog. We trying to get this shit popping. We trying to make a show. Yo, come up here and tell people how listen, y'all really feel. Don't be holding shit back. You can see, listen, man. I'm here to do business. We can talk about anything. Like me and you, we don't never talk about relationships. Me, me and you are married. We're not on the market no more. So it's like. It's there's, a fact. There's no point in, and I think that's whack content just sitting around talking about vaginas all day. Like, I, it's like, I've, uh, what are we talking about? Yeah. 304 is the MIG. I don't even watch that shit no more. I don't even watch the MIG towel type. I don't even watch that no more. What is that? That's like the, 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 the he man woman hater type shit. Like, oh, women are whores now and they don't want to A, B, C, D, F, G. Like the crying over women. You know, you That's see. That's green pill, red pill Yeah, thing? pop balloon type shit. Like, uh, oh, no, nah, I'm good on that, dog. <laughs> nah, nah, we don't have to talk about that. We can talk about anything in the money. I know SoCal going to get on here and complain about the youngins, complain about the money at a game of day. Do you have a manual? Nah, I got, I'm automatic, dog. What you mean, dog? I ain't shifting no gears, dog. Can I shift gears? Yeah, I used to shift gears when I was at FedEx. So. Mm. You know, that was a couple, a couple weeks ago and shit. So. But that automatic is all right now. You, you just gliding and riding. Yeah, I was <laughs> gliding and riding, dog. I don't got to do too much for one. You know what I'm saying? I could damn near drive this thing with one pinky on the, on the steering wheel. I feel bye, you. Bye. All right, cool, cool, cool. It's going to be like that, too. Um, I, I, I appreciate you for coming through, Lo. I know you don't uh, you don't come out much. Uh, but like I said, with the technology now, the show can get done. We don't got to be in the same country or hemisphere, or, you know, you know, cause I'd be out the way. Yeah. Cause this is fire right here. Like we could do this all day. Can it, can it get like a third person in there or yeah. something like that for the special guests? I can oh, yeah, this me. is fire. This is whoever I send this link to can just pop in. Yeah. This is, this is, this is the new wave right here, dog. I'm, I'm for this. And then I'm paying, you can send me $25 out of this, because I'm paying for the three softwares for me to be able to do this. I got to pay for a premiere. Yo, I always be sending you money. You I know gotta, what I'm saying? I gotta, Let me tell you something. You ain't even hearing what I'm saying. I got to pay for a premiere. That's $50 a month. Money. I got to, I got to, listen, I got to pay for StreamYard. That's $50 a month. I got to pay damn, for Opus. Bro. That's $20 a month. I got. I need you to get sponsored by these cats. You talk all these people. I need them to sponsor the bro, show then. What's they're up? They're not going to sponsor me, Lo. All right, well, look, look, I talk to him on my Thank side. you. <laughs> <laughs> I need some light-skinned McGee to handle that for me, please. <laughs> I got you. Dude, Dude 104,000 subs. I've never been sponsored, ever. Yeah, we got to get them sponsorships popping, dog. But that's how they do you. All right, I also got to, uh, you got to send me some things. 
Um, cause I got to set up a, a, a aesthetic that says TB and low. So I'm going to, I thought you handled all that dog. I don't, what you uh, need me you to still do, gotta dog. give me the I raw material. I, I need, I need, um, I need a picture of you that you don't mind using back. I need, I need shit. I just can't just throw it together, bro. I, I got to send that off to somebody and I got to pay someone to do it. Uh, I got you, dog. I got to go. I got to, I got you. I'll get you a picture, dog. All right. I ain't going to hold you. I know you got to go back and work for the man and all that. So yeah, I think they done loaded me. They probably sitting here like, yo, you going to move this trailer? I mean, this truck out. Nah, bro. I'm Gucci, dog. I'm hazmat. Okay. We all hazmat. <laughs> move at your own pace. Facts. <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead and do your thing, dog. I got enough. I'll send you the links. That's the best. Bet. Don't do drugs. I'm out here.